Today, let's look at this uh, 15 inch HP CE serial laptop. Um, it is water damaging and uh, it's posed to us the laptop. Before shipping to us, the owner is already asking someone has uh, take out the, the hard drive already for the, uh, saving the data. From owner's information, um, we can know um, after the owner drop um, half glass of water to the keyboard, the laptop um, is turning off by himself and um, it's not power anymore. So for water damage, I will not um, try to connect the, uh, the power adapter and probably we just straight away to disassembling the machine to see um, what is the damage inside. From the back panel, we can see that it has large watermark around the, um, the uh, battery area. The battery looks okay, um, but we still need to disassemble the, the motherboard to see um, if there's any damage on the other side of the motherboard. The screen looks okay, and there's no watermark showing on the screen area. From this side of the motherboard, the main water damaging area we can see is the um, this from this socket. Uh, this socket is the um, hard drive connecting socket. In this side of the motherboard, we only can see some uh, watermark uh, under the fence area. Uh, overall, from the motherboard, uh, the, the major area from the water damage is this um, the hard drive socket. The uh, rest of the part um, is looks okay. Uh, from the hard drive socket, uh, the main firewall um, power has been, has been burned to the ground. So making the power a uh, short circuit. Uh, let's clean the motherboard, maintain the motherboard first. The uh, rest of, of the part looks okay. After decaling the motherboard, uh, the short circuit uh, is gone. It's not short, short circuit anymore, uh, but a uh, few of the cable on the hard drive socket has been fully burned out. To sort out the short circuit, uh, the motherboard should be powered on without any issue. Imaging hard drive socket is normally using for the, um, f uh, the physical mechanical hard drive or any of the um, 2.5 inch uh, solid state. Um, but this motherboard also has uh, another socket for um, 
I'm too solid state dry. Um, normally, uh, if um, in th those situation, normally we we just using the M2 solid state dry uh, instead of the uh, 2.5 inch hard dry. Um, the machine should be function normally. Uh, let's try to power on st uh, to see um, if that can be power on uh, to show something on the display first. Yeah, machine's power on and there's a display on the screen. I speak to the owner and the owner, unfortunately, the owner got two hard drives. One is a M2 uh, NVMe solid state and the other one, the other, the other one is the um, 2 terabyte, a 2.5 inch mechanical hard drive. So they it, it requiring to repair the, the hard drive socket. Uh, for desoldering those pr plastic part from the motherboard, uh, we can't directly put a heat from the top. Um, the plastic uh, will be melt um, after two hundred degrees. After a few minutes um, per heat from the top, uh, we need to heat it up from underneath. In this way, we can do desoldering those plastic uh, part uh, without damage it. Also, it's not affecting uh, the other plastic part around the area. So doing a, another new plastic part on the motherboard is the same. Uh, we just need to a um, little bit per heat on the top, uh, raise the temperature, and then we uh, mainly we heat it up from underneath. Let's have a close look from um, each of the connection. Uh, it looks um, connecting properly. Now I'm only connecting the mechanical hard drive. Uh, there's no uh, M2 solid state drive connected. It's only the mechanical hard drive connected and uh, install the operating system on the top. Uh, it looks okay now. It's, uh, it passed all the testing um, without any issue. It's very surprised that the keyboard and the touchpad is fully functioning. It even is not sticky. Also, the battery is now affecting as well. It's uh, fully functioning it's past the HP testing. Now the laptop is ready to send it back to the customer.